Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Serena Gaming. We are in Hades. Wow, nice healing. I still haven't used my lucky tooth. That's kind of amazing. We have gotten clear through Elysium. For the first time, so I have no idea what is next. Oh, there's statues of Cerberus. Have those been in every, like, interval room and I haven't noticed? Oh well, I'll see. As we move on, let's see what's next. Farthest I've come. Cheers. A labyrinth. Okay. Ground floor. The Temple of Sticks. Some of those urns have coin in them, don't they? Nice. Why so many? What do you At got for me, old the man? Prince has ventured all the way up to the surface of the mortal realm. Yet still he is encased within the earth itself. The gateway to the underworld. A threshold from which there is no escape. We'll see about that. Very mechanical, very clockwork. Let's see what we have. Oh no, not this. Oh, puppy. The multi-headed Cerberus stands vigilant before the underworld's entryway. The tales of what happens to those foolish enough to attempt to pass are far too graphic to describe. But he's the bestest boy. So it's really come to this boy. After everything we've been through. Well then, this is how it has to be. There's nothing left to say. Except for, on your guard. <laughs> no, but seriously, boy. I know why you're here. There has to be a way to make you look the other way. What if I help you with the Seda problem? Would you let me go? Please. What problem? Like the mother. what problem? You know what this means to me. Come on, boy. Be the bestest boy. After a moment's hesitation and deliberation, the voracious hound of hell parks once affirmatively toward the prince, who sets off in search of something that can sate the monster's appetites. Good. Oh, great. Now I just need to head off the beaten path here and see what I can find. That's oh, quite a stash there, Charon. Yeah, it is. That is quite the stash. <laughs> Nothing new to say. Is this the way forward? Yes. Whoa, that's a lot of options. Let's go with powering up what we have. Let's see what's in here. Hi. Stop. Fuck. No. What the fuck? Not poisoned at the moment, thanks. Okay. So poisoning is an option. Where's my palm? Well, you still have to proceed. Nope, 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 don't want that. Hell no. Wow. No, I'm going my 
you all. Still no palm. Give me my palm. Doesn't it? senses yikes that is intense come on give me that's it you have to go down whatever that is return what hope this can get me out of here Something for Cerberus. Got to find something for Cerberus. this stuff. Okay. 
I appreciate that they have the poison part available. Like it's not completely killing you right away. I'll stay over there, I'll stay over here, we're all good. Center storage. Uh -huh. sure. Disgusting. Cerberus will love it. Oh, that's a fountain. <laughs> Yum. Wow, this place has that's a lot of cool gold available. Yeah. Oh, that's also like I thought it was a choice. It's both. Time to deliver the goods. What do you do? Huh. Interesting. Let's mix things up, Daedalus. Oh, it's random. Great. <laughs> Love that. I'll pay for that. Got something for you, boy. All right, boy, I got your favorite treat. But you have to promise to let me pass if I hand it over, okay? Terrifying Cerberus accepts the fetid sack and scans the darkened hall for where best to consume the stomach-turning contents. Nice. I owe you one, boy. <laughs> That's so cute. I love it. Go Flip out. It. Oh, hallelujah. Is that Dad? Of course. I never grew accustomed to the air up here. It gusts senselessly whichever way it pleases. I suppose you must prefer it to the stillness of the air below. I don't you know, know. I've right. only been out here a few seconds. seems pretty good so far. But I will reserve judgment till I've had my fill. I have to say, though, Father, the Helm of Darkness suits you. Untouched, you dust it off on my account. It should not have had to come to this. For all your antics with me yet around the house, I always kept my temper, have I not? Unlike you. Wow, that's keeping your temper? Well, let's see. You've berated me repeatedly and often. You've lied to me, mustered your wretched forces to kill me over and over, but sure, I'll grant you that you've always kept most of your anger bottled up. All that's about to change, then? We're gods, boy. Killing one another is our lot. Although I always thought I was above it. I told you that you cannot leave this place. Seems I must enforce my rules myself. I'm sending you home. Now. Do you have to? No. I be You're going home, not me. No, I do not want. I suppose that you must hate the very sight of me. You'll understand then why I wear the Helm of Darkness. Oh, jeez. Goodness, what on earth? You are blind even to simple truths. Yes. <laughs> 
see you. You dare laugh out against me like this boy. You have a kid so. here. Stop oh, Miserable husk of a man. What would you know of misery? You could say, fated never to be seen together much. Every time I talk to you, you somehow take it as a compliment. Is that correct? Then let me give you some advice for once. Stop being an idiot. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Alas. <laughs> Meg is starting to grow on me. Hey, Cerberus. Hey, good to see you back here, boy. I'm glad you're back on guard duty. Even if it means having to find a way past you. I know you're just doing your job. <laughs> the fear-inducing hellhound eyes the underworld prince uneasily. His six ferocious eyes, each glistening within the dim light of the house. See you, boy. You're my good boy. Yes, you are. You're the bestest. I saw your father storm out of the house in his regalia, so he must have confronted you himself at last. I see that must have not gone well. You were so close. I breathed fresh air. Well, at least I know who will be waiting for me the next time I climb all the way to the Temple of Sticks and manage my way out. Don't lose heart, lad. I did not train your father. Only you. He is a god, but he is just a god. If you'll forgive my bit of treason there. Just a god. Still locked. Don't have access. Nothing going on there. Whoa, a rod of fishing. Here. Okay, I'll do it. Let's do it. I positively cannot wait to see what sorts of foul creatures I'll dredge up with this. Too pricey for me. Are you the one whom I should thank for this most wondrous music stand, my friend? Why, it is positively splendid, isn't it? A renowned court musician ought to have the finest means available, I think. I'm pleased you like it, Orpheus. Though, tell me something. How can I play your music when you're not even here? Who can explain the secret art of Daedalus, my friend? Know only that, whenever it produces music for your listening enjoyment, that the sound you hear is coming from my soul. Okay. Amazing. And a bit unsettling. Agreed. Uh, hey, Dusa. Sorted the files, gathered the feedback, updated the schedule, sent the report. That's it. Your father is not here and you are back. Then it can only mean one thing. Are you alright, my child? I've been better. Yes, I think so, Nix. I made it far. Returning here by father's hand does put a special sting into it, though. So, any invaluable tips on how to vanquish him? 
some hidden weaknesses only you know about, something like that? I'd greatly appreciate it. You know his weaknesses better than anyone. Better even than he. It pains me to know that the conflict between you could not be settled in some other way. But if this is how it has to be, destroy him for me. Next oh. you fight up there. That However was long it takes. Bit unexpected. Would you do that? Yikes. I would. I will. Okay. Wow. So, no new prophecies there. Let's unlock some abilities. Only two more. Okay. What more potential do I have? Deal bonus damage versus foes affected by at least stu two status curse effects. That's raise a chance for a boon to be rare by one percent, or deal bonus damage for each Olympian bones whose boons you have. Versus. Raise your chance for... Other side. We're gonna raise rarity. They do like to spread it out, so... Might as well. Three percent, I'll take it. Phew, felt that. Did you? Did you really? Alright, so this is kind of an odd amount of time. It's been a short episode, so I don't have the mental energy to do another run at the moment, so I thought it's about time to start looking through some of the codex. See anything interesting. Hmm. Interesting that... Okay, is this written from... Achilles perspective or perhaps is it the unknown narrator because his son is his sole remaining co connection to his family and I fear it falters who is I wonder all right Nick's still more to learn I thought I'd given something to Hades. Hmm. Mm. Uh, she watches over the Dominion itself. Interesting. They are certainly an odd couple. complete. Yeah, I think Hades, I don't, he's not a good boss, but I do think he appreciates the value of having someone around to raise people's spirits. No pun intended. Ok, 
Okay, that sounds like it is written by Achilles. I don't really know the story of Achilles that well. I should read that, but anyway, having Ares and Apollo's direct influence on something definitely implies, like, Achilles. Live unspeakably befouled. Hmm. Yeah, Meg is growing on me. I will admit that. This is something for sure. Hades bears no love for him. Yeah, no shit. That's a very interesting perspective from Achilles. I haven't given him anything yet. Or Athena, that's surprising. He wields her beauty and charm with much the same lethality as I could wield the spear. Yes, that's... Yes. <laughs> and it will be the death of me. Made and ruined me. Yeah, I really don't know enough of Achilles' stories for this. Entirely sure I buy this. I th think humans like him because they like drinking, and he likes humans because he's a condescending dude, bro. Assuming the undiscovered is going to be Persephone. Okay, this is all still written from his. Okay, yet I am unmade, unwhole, here in this place, alone, without the one with whom I shared my life when we were flesh and blood. He is somewhere within this realm, yet our time, I think, is long since past. Okay. They are making it canon. And I... 
I'm blanking on his lover's name, and that bothers me. Okay. Is that how it happened? Oops, wrong button. Really want to see more of Eurydice? Patroclus. So that's his name. We've only seen him once. Cerberus, good boy. I really... Why is she doing both house, like, house cleaning and administrative? That bothers me to no end. That is interesting. Still an undiscovered. Wonder who that'll be. Alright, then the layers of the underworld. Learn more by entering the house of Hades 41 times. My goodness. So they describe Asphodel as once not being, you know, full of lava. But I hope they will expand upon that a bit more. Yeah, the meadows of Asphodel. Those don't look like meadows to me. more underworld locations, my goodness. <sighs> Eternal Spear, my favorite. Be 
month to Chiron, Lord of Centaurs. Yeah, we haven't run into Hera yet. I don't think she's the last Olympian, but it is interesting we haven't run into her. Yeah. Least known among the gods who stood together to oppose the Titans is Lady Hestia, reclusive god of the hearth. I know her very well thanks to the Horizon series. Hestia is pretty important there. Commentary on gun violence. Alright. There are even undiscovered areas. I wonder if that will be more surface stuff. I don't want to defeat the Bone Hydra ten more times. Flame wheels, those little shitheads. As I learned in Elysium, the gods are on both sides. These guys are hard. What is the soul? An ember from the depths of chaos, nothing more. I think. But is all we are as mortals and is all we reduce to once we inevitably fade away? Wow, dark. Okay, that doesn't actually tell me what a soul catcher is though, does it? No one... Gross. Super gross. So gross. Oh, this is the problem that he was referring to. Getting rid of those guys for Cerberus. Okay. Oh, so much. Okay. There's just so, so much. Tell me what it does. All right. So, okay, bit more knowledge of the world. I 
at this point there has been explanation of what you're doing with developing relationships with the various gods I'm walking through here so it'll nice save and we can pick right. up here next time don't know what developing the relationships with the gods do does before or beyond that one I'm going to get through all this you know gift you gift from each of them 53 all right that's pretty good I don't know where this is gonna go once I get past Hades I do think like I believe it's possible of course it's possible people have beaten the game but I don't feel extremely discouraged by that first fight I know that the bosses tend to get harder after the first time you defeat them so you beat them once with the basic tactics and then they come back with the harder ones so we'll see what he comes at me with next but I think I need my bow. I was hoping it doesn't tell you which areas you've gotten through. Oh, that, that tells you the total darkness you have invested in things, I take it. Interesting. Anyway, sorry that's a bit of an anticlimactic end with lots of reading the screen, but I wanted to take it easy after that really exciting run, getting all the way to fighting Hades. Uh, I hope that worked for you all. I would... I will see you all next time.